The hostess module, oftentimes called the reservations module, was mostly rebuilt from the ground up in version 19 of Restaurant Manager, bringing many new features with significant improvements to the ease of use. Let's take a look at the new hostess module on a point of sale station. The configuration options for the hostess module will be covered in an additional video. The hostess module can be accessed using the hostess point of sale function button. I have added this function button to the main table screen for this example. Pressing the hostess button will open the hostess module. We will first take a look at the waitlist portion of the hostess module and then look at the reservations portion. All of the tables that are enabled in your system are shown in the table status slash estimate field. Each table is indicated by a table number, number of available seats, and current status. Table 11, for example, can seat up to four people and is currently available. Table 61, on the other hand, shows an estimated time until the table will become available. Tables 3 and 12 show soon, indicating that the payment has been applied to this order and the transaction has been finalized, but the table has not yet been cleared. Pressing on any table in the list will display a table status pop-up indicating what time the table was open and what time the check was printed for the customer. The table status will also change to delay if the estimated time the table should be open for one completed order is exceeded. The center of the screen shows the current waitlist including the customer name, phone number, number of guests, status, and expected time of arrival. Pressing on any of the available fields will allow you to make changes to the information that is displayed. The asterisk before the time indicates that this customer made a reservation. If I press on the time slot, a list of all of the available reservation periods will be shown so I can select a different time slot if necessary. Touching the customer name, phone number, or number of guests in their party can be adjusted in the same way. The Here column allows you to mark if the customer has arrived but is waiting to be seated. This provides a great quick visual indicator of which guests are currently waiting to be seated. Pressing the Edit button in the Action column will display the Edit Reservations pop-up window. Any information regarding the reservation can be edited here by pressing the Ellipse button next to the corresponding field. More importantly, this is where the reservation can be transferred to a tab or table when the guests are seated. Pressing Transfer to Table will display a prompt where the table number can be selected, followed by an employee selection pop-up to select which employee the table should be assigned to. Once an employee is selected, a successful transfer message is displayed. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. As you can see, this customer has now been removed from the waiting list. Shortly following, the table status will be modified in the Table Status Estimate column, indicating that the table is now in use and the estimated time for the table to be available is displayed. The rightmost column of the screen contains a few more useful buttons. The group on the bottom contains filters that can be used to organize the waitlist showing only the information that is needed. These filters can be used to show only reservations, only walk-ins, only customers that have arrived, only customers that have been notified their table is ready, or all customers. A search button is also included that will allow you to incrementally search the waiting list using the customer's name. As you type, the results displayed will be filtered to show only the customers that match the text entered. The middle group of buttons allow you to add an additional customer to the waiting list, set the wait delay, and view computed wait estimates. Pressing Add to Waitlist will first prompt to enter the customer's phone number or email address. The customer's information can then be added or modified. Pressing OK will display the new waitlist window where reservation information can be entered. The time can be adjusted if necessary, number of customers in the party can be entered, and the employee that input the new customers can be set. Pressing the OK button on this window will add the customer to the waiting list. Pressing Wait Estimate will display the current estimated wait time based on settings that can be modified in the back office. For this example, I am estimating a wait time of 5 minutes per customer that has arrived but not yet been seated, so the current estimated wait time is 20 minutes. Pressing Set Wait Delay will display a prompt that will allow you to add additional time to the wait estimate. Entering 5, for example, will increase the wait time from 20 to 25 minutes. It is also possible to input a negative value to decrease the current wait estimate. Now that we have covered the waitlist, we can switch over to the reservation section of the hostess module by pressing the reservations button. The reservations portion of the hostess module is laid out in a similar fashion but functions quite differently. This portion of the hostess module is to take reservations for future times and dates. The system will automatically add reservations to the waitlist on their appropriate days. The leftmost column of the screen displays the currently available reservation time periods, the number of currently reserved seats, 
and the remaining number of seats available for reservations during that time period. I'm going to press the Next button so the system will display tomorrow's reservations. As you can see, we currently have two reservations for tomorrow, a party of 4 at 4 p.m. and a party of 6 at 4.30 p.m. Since we have already registered six of the available seats at 4.30, only 24 additional seats are available for reservation. Just as the waitlist functions, any customer information shown can be edited by touching the appropriate value. If the party size for the 4.30 reservation increases from 6 to 8, I can simply touch the number 6 and enter the new party size of 8. Adding new reservations is a fairly straightforward process. Pressing Reserve Now will prompt you to enter the customer's phone number or email address. Once entered, the customer's information can be added or modified if necessary. Pressing OK will display the new reservation window. The reservation date and time can be modified by pressing the corresponding ellipse buttons. If I press the date ellipse button, a calendar will be displayed allowing me to select the desired reservation date. Pressing the time ellipse button will display all of the available reservation time periods on the selected date. The number of seats available for reservations are also shown below each time period. After entering the number of customers this reservation is for and the employee that took the reservation, pressing OK will save the new reservation. The way that the reservation and waitlist function can be customized to fit your business in the Restaurant Manager back office. Modifying the available settings will be covered in an additional video. This concludes the video tutorial on the updated Hostess module.